Welcome back, guys. Just gotta have a little um, <clears throat> update from our race on the weekend. It's now Monday afternoon, so so um, yeah, we went to Mooney this week after the three mil Marins. So I end up sending. I sent 12, 12 to Mooney, the first Mooney, and um, I got eleven home. 11 out of the 12, I had 10 on the day, and then I got one the next day. This fella here, he's been every week, this fella. Four weeks in a row he's been, and then come home on Sunday, but it was a very, very tough race on Sunday. Not many flyers got many of their birds home. Some were missing more than half. Some were just over half home. But I was stoked. I had 10, 10 out of a possible 12, and I ended up getting one more on the on Sunday morning, which is always a bonus. Would have liked to have got the other fella, but is what it is. Which was not his brother. He, he might, he's in the other side, it's his brother. The checker fella there, his brother. Is gone. But, um, yeah, here's what it is. Can only do all we can do. But um, yeah, we'll set them up now, probably. Not sure if I'll race them this weekend. I might just give them all a week off from a race and we'll um, set them up for the first fed race. That red hen, she lays like mad, which is another egg I'll be throwing out soon, so. But see how we go. So yeah, I got a possible 11, 11 out of 12 home. And actually got a pretty good bird. This one here, she was my clock bird. I'll put the results up at the end. And then um, his sister. I'm not sure where she is. Yeah, that one there, that blue bar there. That's her. She, was, she wasn't far behind. And she's been to three races. And she's been second every time, but she wasn't far off the clock. And if I had a clocked her, I would, I still would have done really well. Yeah, I end up getting 23rd out of the possible 79 flyers, which I was absolutely stoked about. I only had, I only got five up until clock reading, and then I went to clock reading with five, and I wasn't too happy, but was happy considering how many other, some other flyers had. And then when I come home, I actually had four more home. I had, just trying to find them. They, they're in, they must be in the other side. But yeah, I had four. Oh, that checker fellow up there was one of them. I got him just before I left for a clock. But yeah, pretty happy with all that. That blue follow there, I got him after clock. My little mealy pied hen, wherever she is. She's not to be seen. But yeah, I got her as well. I'm not sure where she is. My little blue pencil pied hen there. She come after five, I'd gone out for dinner and then she'd come home, but She's home, that's the main thing. She hasn't been since, she hadn't been since the first race, but. Oh, and the big blue, a big checker white fight fella there. Yeah, these are only just training runs for him. We'll, we'll worry about him when it comes time later in the year, when we get out the longer distances. The checker hen there, I sent her. But, yeah, no, they're going all right. Give them a good loft fly this morning. They were out for two hours. I reckon they before that two hours they probably flew for half an hour, 45 minutes of it, if not more. But the falcon did get into them, so I think that's why the mealy pied end's not here. So hopefully she's straight into somewhere. Because yeah, they come roaring back over this way from that way. So Let's see how we go. Hopefully she gets straight in, but if not, then 
It is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. Oh yeah, she come whistling in on Saturday. It is what it is. Lucky I didn't have the pigeons here. Yeah, the big eagle just flew past. Would have stirred them right up. They all have them trying to have a look. As you can see. But, um, yeah, cheers guys. Just so I give you an update from the race on the weekend. And um, we'll catch up with you later.